Nintendo has had incredible success in recent years, but it could have had even more. The problem is that over the last 15 years, Nintendo consoles have been hindered by a single recurring flaw, the lack of quality, consistent third-party support. For various reasons, it's a problem that started on the Nintendo 64, and this game can attest to that. It took Capcom two years to release a game for Nintendo's fancy 3D magic machine, and when they finally did, it was a 2D game of Tetris. Now obviously, a lot of Nintendo fans weren't very happy about this. The PlayStation was getting all kinds of great stuff from Capcom, and it seemed like this was, well, little more than a half-hearted attempt at Nintendo appeasement. But now, more than 12 years after its release, Magical Tetris Challenge deserves to be viewed in a different perspective. In fact, it's ironic that a game viewed as outdated and perhaps lazy in 1999 would stand more than a decade later as one of the best-aged Nintendo 64 games. Its 2D sprites, which were once a point of criticism, have ultimately proven timeless. They're vibrant, they're gorgeous, and that's something that can't be said for very many Nintendo 64 games in 2011. There's a character here and a polish that's really hard to discern from much of the blurriness that console's left us with. It's not necessarily a masterpiece, but Magical Tetris Challenge reaches out from a distant past with surprising foresight, almost as if it knew better in 1999. It knew the obsession with polygons would be fleeting and that someday, somehow, its look would again be appreciated. Of course, it doesn't take much to appreciate a good game of Tetris, and obviously, that's what this is. Magical Tetris Challenge is just Tetris with a thick coat of Disney paint, but to Capcom's credit, the game also drops a few tricks on us. You see, because because the blocks drop. It's like, this is like Puntress. Magical Tetris Challenge has two main gameplay modes. There's the standard Tetris mode that Nintendo fans fell in love with on the Game Boy and the NES, but there's also a new version that's called, wait for it, Magical Tetris. Now, its gameplay is mostly the same, but a few twists do apply. And for starters, clearing lines adds to your magic meter, and when you finally fill that up, this magic rainbow wipes a huge layer of blocks off your screen and add that to its pioneering landing outline, its vibrant graphics, its fun Disney theme, and its multiplayer, and you start to wonder what so many people were whining about in 1999. I mean, maybe they wanted a, a polygonal Mickey. Oh, those, those fools. Some of the greatest games ever made were released for the Nintendo 64. I wouldn't exactly put this one in that category. The stories are a nice touch, but they are a bit lame, and the lack of four-player multiplayer is an outright tragedy, but this is still an excellent game of Tetris. It's aged better than 90% of its peers, and frankly, if nothing else, Magical Tetris Challenge makes me wish more Nintendo 64 games would have been like this, showing loyalty to the old school in the face of polygonal brainwashing.